Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna use this bad boy I got a few couple days ago. Let's see if I can get it up. It's molding paste from Liquitex. Acrylic medium, it's almost a kilo. And I got it from Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link below. I also got mm -hmm, painting knives, palette knives, whatever. Sorry, whatever it's called. <laughs> To spread this stuff around. I have this old painting that was part of a triptych quarter whatever the hell tip thing things kebab. It was three paintings, uh, four paintings and I don't like it anymore so I made already a video about what I did with the rest of this and this one I use as a guinea pig because it has holes. It's just that the canvas is thin at some parts, uh, at some parts and I don't know why. Well, it's not me. I didn't do anything to it. It's just not very good quality, but that's okay. We're practicing. And, oh, yeah, and I have the catalyst wedges. Serrated edge on one side. Flat on this one. So, yeah, all these tools are fun to be used. So, let's get into it. Okay. Here we go. I open up the bad boy. There's lots on the lid because I've got. So it's just. I'm gonna just plop this on here. So it says on the lid. Okay. So what we're gonna be using first? I'm gonna use this. Just to spread it out. It's nice and smooth, just like icing. You get the perfect icing. Oops, that on my arms, of course. Fun. Okay, let's use that to spread it out again till before it gets hard. You gotta get going. Just 
to dry and now the sun is gone of course i want to dry it yeah. got some gesso here i use the thicker stuff not that st stuff that's gonna take all the paint off again Plaster stuff is really very flexible, which is good if you put it on a canvas. I'm using a wide brush and see how many layers it takes to cover it. layer of chest on here it's mostly covered not pretty good there you go now I decided to paint it and I decided kind of on these earthy colors and these are just some of them are craft paints because this is just a practice but anyway this is espresso and some kind of a this golden this is a fancy paint an acridon nickel gold so I'm gonna mix these together to make a darker brown this is gold and this is this color it's what color is it pastel yellow and I put silver and some white in it and it's kind of based on a fall macrame wall art I saw on um, online. So let's get started. I'm going to mix. I guess I'll start with the lightest colors, probably the best. And I'm probably going to start from light down to dark, maybe. We'll see how that goes. So I got the yellow tone here. And I put silver in it to give it a little more of a shimmer. I don't know if I should go over the edge. 
because that doesn't make sense because of the way it goes down. It's really hard to tell how many layers I need because I need to dry first. I'm just going to use the same on this side, might as well. Which is kind of thin, so it's not as thick as the other one because I didn't. If you want to make a pink colored opaque, you put white in it. It's okay, I just put more layers. Italics are usually have a tendency to be a little more translucent. Translucent, I think it's the word, isn't it? Ah, no. English, Italian. Then I have to have these ridges to guide where the paint's supposed to go. That's a nice color. Mocha. This reminds me of ice cream. <laughs> Maybe it could go over this, make it kind of seem on the bottom. <laughs> on the outside? Why not? Should I do this one dark too? Hmm. Should I be white? Hmm. Or oh, not white, but that color. Decisions, decisions. Should I use this one? Ooh. 
Isn't that beautiful? I love this color. Is that copper? Should I use copper actually? I don't know. Could go over it with copper. <laughs> I'm not putting any water because I wanted to cover as much as possible. So I use different brushes. Dark here, or should I leave it white? Let's put white on there. Hmm. What do you guys think? I can still change it and go over it if I don't like it. It dries otherwise it just keeps on I keep on taking off the paint okay I'll be back okay so it's a few days later now it's all dry I actually already tried to put on some gold you can see here and this has to be covered more just try it out how it's gonna look got a little more shine sheen to it because it's kind of dark so yeah that's what we're gonna do I have I squeezed in some gold here and some water. I'm just going to mix that up and make a little wash, really thin. Because the gold is not going to really kind of stay on the top, the metallics don't really mix with the water well. Sorry for the wobbling. So it's just gonna just gonna smear it on and see what happens. And you kept holding my hand as you reached for water. The hills by the lake you were chasing. Here 
just a finished experiment. I am not sure if I like it. I mean, this is just my first one and you know, it's kind of shiny. As you can see here, I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to do another one like this. It's just a idea. Maybe you guys would like it to have it in your house and just kind of have a minimalistic wall art. Yeah, I'm not just sure if I like it. I mean, it, I know it's not obviously not perfect, but yeah. Let me know in the comments what do you think? If this is a fail or a success? I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.